today we have our virtual story time with the Shasta Public Libraries. My name is Miss Karina and our story time is all about dogs. If you have a fluffy friend, a cat, a hamster, a chinchilla, go and grab them. They can sit with you for our story time today. We are going to be reading Charlie and the Christmas Kitty by Ree Drummond and illustrated by Diane DeGrott. Well, howdy. Charlie the ranch dog here, reporting from the country. Things have been pretty busy around here these days. This evening, for instance, I'm bringing the great big tree into our house. Well, I'm helping anyway. Wow, this big tree is big work. It's sure a good thing I'm here. I'm Charlie the ranch dog after all. I'm such a hard worker. Some people even call me King of the Ranch. I like the title. It suits me. After all, I'm the best cattle wrangler, critter, chaser, fence fixer, and fish catcher in six states. Maybe even seven. Yep, looks like I've got this situation well under control. I'll think I'll go ahead and get a little shy. Tomorrow is going to be a big day around here. Huh? What I miss? And what is that noise? Why, it's a, it's a, it's a rabbit. Um, hello. I believe rabbits are supposed to run when dogs chase them. Hold on just one minute. Rabbits don't meow. Wait, I don't think it's a rabbit at all. Do you guys know what it is? I think it's a kitty. I think so too. What's a kitty doing on my ranch? I have to say, I really wasn't expecting this development. Um, hmm. This is by far the weirdest thing that's happened since the girls dressed me in that pinafore. I'd better go back to sleep and pretend this never happened. Huh? what I miss? Oh, whew. it's all just a bad dream. There's no kitty after all. My soul rejoices. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Well, the last thing I'm going to do is let this whole kitty thing disrupt my peace. I've got a lot of work to do around here. Maybe if I just ignore the kitty, it'll go away. Sniff, sniff. Maybe not. Maybe if I just mind my own business and eat my lunch, it'll, it'll go away. Maybe not. Maybe if I take a nice long nap, it'll go away. Maybe not. Okay, fine. This clearly isn't working. I'll have to try another approach. Row! Hmm. Do we think it worked? Oh boy. I think I have a problem on my hands. I think the kitty does like some better now. Excuse me. May I help you? That's kind of nice. What is the kitty doing? Is he giving the dog a back massage? You know, this kitty's actually pretty handy to have around. All this ranch work is pretty hard on the old back, after all. I guess the kitty can stay. I hereby proclaim it. I'm sure glad I got this whole kitty situation straightened out. Now things can finally get back to normal around here. What? 
Not again. Oh, who's here now? Another dog. And look, it says, to Charlie. Looks like he's getting a friend. The end. All right, and for story time today, we have one song to wrap everything up. It's called Digger Dog by uh, Nancy. And it goes like this. I have a little doggy. His paws are really big. And when he goes outside, he likes to dig and dig and dig. He drops his bone into the hole and covers it with a snap. Puts one paw on the other and lies down to take a nap. Alrighty, well thanks for joining me today. If you're interested in this book, you can come to the library and check it out. And on three, we are going to wave and say goodbye. One, two, three, bye.